Listen to this short conversation and see if you can understand the word through the context. Let's go. Okay, go. Uh, okay, take the picture. What one do I press? Press the middle button. Where? The middle button. Where? Oh, press the middle button. Okay, I'm pressing it. It's not doing anything. No, you're not. Press the middle button. I'm pressing it. Wait, why do I see my forehead? Oh, oh, oh my God. Flip the phone around and press the middle button. And how do I do that? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm pressing it. It's not working. Bloody thing. It's not working. Oh, my God. Don't get your knickers in a twist. I'm doing it. Yeah, but you're not doing it. Oh, I'm it's not working. Get your mother to take it. I ain't got time for this. I'll go back to my movie. Basically, we say don't get your knickers in a twist when we see someone getting really upset or angry in a situation when they really shouldn't be. Uh, they shouldn't be getting angry over these small little things. So it's something that we say to people that are getting easily upset. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Now, unfortunately, we live in an era where everybody's always getting their knickers in a twist over the smallest little things. But hey, oh, that's life. So can you give me an example of when you got your knickers in a twist or when someone else you know got their knickers in a twist? Can you give me a sentence below uh, using this phrase? Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.